Hello, my name is Wolfie Kilo, and coming at you with a brand new episode of Green Shite. I don't even know why I keep on going ahead and saying my name. And it looks like somebody been visiting the asset store on either uh, Unreal Engine or, I don't know, Unity. It, something just doesn't really jive artistically with this game that makes me think that this is pretty bad ass assets. It just doesn't look all that graf graphically impressive, but graphics aren't everything. Let's go ahead and make that clear. However, it does make your game look pretty good. And what is this green hill, green hill zone crap going on? What uh, orcs, ogres? I don't know. Garbage. Okay, this music is just a little droning on, and it's a first-person shooter. Um, we definitely haven't seen enough of those. Definitely, in no way, in no way have we not seen enough of those. As either in AAA or, let's just go ahead and say, Andy Game as well. Because these are honestly just all over the place. But... It is kind of interesting that you're somewhat in a fantasy setting and you're shooting at fantasy creatures. Um, I can't really put my finger on it, but I believe I've seen a game that did exactly this and did it pretty well. As for your game in particular, um, I don't know. I can't really make a judgment call off a trailer, but... As of this moment, it's not really looking all that great. Alright, so... There's, our, there, there's at least three minutes of this. And I'm gonna go ahead and spare you from the rest of the... One minute left on this, so let's go ahead and just move on to the description. Because I think we get the general idea. Alright, the description. Cellsoft presents... Mystic Madness! Okay, I tried to do my best impression of the... ...announcer of the Chicago Bulls. Reminent- and trying to reminisce about Michael Jordan. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Captain Sperry, the space pirate, is on board his vessel that was heavily damaged during the last fight with an unknown enemy. Adrift in space for five months aboard the... Malfunctioning ship, it crash lands on a strange, mysterious planet. Ooh, spooky, spooky. You wake up in an airy, dark swamp uh, with only a patrol by your side. Lost alone, you must battle your way through the tre treacherous new world and just maybe find a way off it. Hmm. So, basically, it's a survival game. Okay. Key features, amazing visual effects, highly detailed maps, strange and exotic creatures. Hmm. How exotic are we talking? Are we talking about, uh, green-skinned women? <laughs> because it is in space and I'm thinking Star Trek right now for some reason. No fucking Pegasus, oh my god! New world to explore, powerful and deadly weapons, five vast regions containing different enemies, Mass carnage, complex real-time shadows, realistic waterfalls, trees that respond to force. It responds to force. <laughs> uh, my childish and immature brain just thought of something else when that just happened, but hey, whatever. So, as of right now, there's only five comments uh, to read, so this video is pretty much uh, looking at an early... Uh, version of this so uh, let's just go ahead and read some of this uh, these comments here well this game looks crazy I would play just to blow up mushrooms and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be doing mushrooms while you're playing this game blowing up mushrooms uh, shroom se shroom shroomception I think I already made enough videos about shrooms I think I think two's enough I think two's enough digital homicide is that you well uh, no, I don't believe it's them because they've already have basically shown their hand and basically said, yes, you know all that shady shit that we did in the past? Um, yeah, that was all us. We're going to go ahead and just trade the games that we made in the past under our own name now. 
and now they're just on Steam Greenlight hoping hoping to get Greenlight once more. Let's go ahead and uh, go down a little bit to Silverstream to go ahead and read this next comment. Man, I, I really hate how Steam Greenlight's comments are sorted the way they are in terms of in terms of time. It it kind of makes sense, but when when you can't really I don't know reply to something there's no reply button it kind of makes it a little harder to understand what everyone's going on about this looks remarkably like a bunch of assets tossed together and that was my sentiments exactly when I first saw the trailer I just thought it just looked like a bunch of compiled assets and it and yes I did say that when I was reacting to the trailer early on in the video uh, seriously, who would build a 10-foot-tall lighthouse in the middle of a jungle? Okay, let's go ahead and go on and see what Bolix said and respond to that. What Silverstream said. So basically, this game is a walkthrough, a uh, uh, survival thrown, thrown together worlds with various weapons and just shooting monsters for no real reason at least you're not diddle homicide or bmc downvote um yeah i don't know who bmc is but i believe that this game is basically a cobbled it together with uh, pre-made assets how the only thing that could go ahead and justify the pre-made asset thing if you actually put a disclaimer at the beginning and or the end of your video explaining that this is not conducive of what the game is going to look like in the future that's the only reason why I will ever give a pre-made assets in a trailer a, pa a pass and that's the only reason why but let but never mind about that let's just go ahead and read the last comment and uh, Verox says, Looks like the only strange and exotic creatures are just multiple skins. Didn't see any enemies doing anything different from one another. They all seem to just run in a straight line at you and then just backpedal and win. Second screenshot, trees are all lined up perfectly. Look how, look at all in the same row. No thanks. So the early reception to this game is a flat out no when it comes to the Steam Greenlight community and the five people who, well, uh, basically are saying, well, yes and no. Yes for the sole fact that it's a kind of a trippy experience when you first look at it. But this community is not wrong. They're not wrong after all because if they were wrong they would uh they would just vote no on it when it just probably looks like a masterpiece apparently but i'm just kind of talking my out of my ass here but basically the community is never wrong the way i see it but the only time they are wrong is when it comes to i don't know the social aspect of it because when we can't necessarily judge the character of uh, any kind of dev, uh, so to speak, based on what they're doing with their games. For good example, Digital Homicide once more. We don't know exactly what they're like, but when it comes to business dealings, they're pretty terrible. Uh, you have to admit that. And when it comes to PR, they're also very terrible. But hey, we don't know them from a fucking hole in the wall. Uh, so, what, so what does this mean about your game? Well, obviously you want to have a game out there. You made this game. It is your baby. And treat it as such. Do this game justice. Actually put in some effort to go ahead and make it look like that. It's a game that you made by yourself. Instead of just having it look like it came fresh from the Unity Asset Store or something along those lines. And I think, but what already has been said about asset flips that hasn't been said already, um, not much in my, not much to my attention, I should say. So with all that being said, 
Please like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode of Green Shite. And just because the name of the episode of my video series is called Green Shite doesn't mean I actually think that your game is going to be shit or currently is. Um, but in the opinion, uh, but in my humble opinion, I do not know. I do not know. So please shut up and stay happy.